<laughs> well, God don't even speak English. He speak Hebrew. So if the, the God they talking about, yeah. you know what I mean? Him, you know what I mean? That fucking him up, That nigga need a translator. Why you fucking him up? There he goes. That's, 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 like there he goes. Uh, Tell him again, Craig. So God don't even speak English. He speak Hebrew. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that nigga don't know what the fuck. When you pray, he be like, what the fuck are they talking about? I heard I'm surrounded by idiots. This is exactly why scriptures like Psalm chapter 50 verse 16 exists. Do not speak on my word. Don't speak on my name or my reputation if you don't know nothing about me. If you don't follow me, you don't do what I say, don't talk about me. Thou sayest unto the wicked, don't declare my statutes. Now the scripture in the Bible says God's language is Hebrew. Now the scripture in the Bible says God is limited to Hebrew. You know, he does have omnipotent power. So meaning if he's all powerful, then why would he only be able to speak one language? Now, yes, we do read in the scriptures that Jesus Christ spake Hebrew to Paul on the road to Damascus. But that does not mean that he has to speak Hebrew. Oh, let's check exhibit A, Isaiah chapter 28, verse 11. For with stammering lips and another tongue will he speak to this people. That is clearly the scriptures letting us know that the all powerful God will reach us whenever he needs to, however he needs to. It does not matter what language we speak. He's going to make sure we can hear him and understand him so we can follow him. Let's be mindful of foolish beliefs.